Business consultants, the McKinsey's and Roland Berger's and whatever, they were the profession innovators because they were they came into companies and as I said before, I, I usually meet more business consultants there than, than employees. When I worked for the German Railways, Deutsche Bahn, uh, everybody there in the rooms were always employed by Roland Berger or McKinsey. There was never anybody from Deutsche Bahn there. Um, they owned innovation. The problem is they also have this sort of a, it's a, bit, it's a little bit like, like the banks, you know, they know. Uh, the, the, the road between death and life, and uh, they sort of tell us that we are pretty stupid, and uh, what do we know? Um, and, and in fact, their business is to make everybody appear fairly stupid. But the great thing about innovation is, and we've heard this you know, a few times today, that you, you don't have to be trained to be innovative. You just, uh, it's a talent, but it's something that you can, you can learn. But the most difficult thing is that you actually have to learn to cooperate, and, and a lot of people don't like that. Uh, they hate competition, they hate um, to work with other people, you know, like, I'm a designer, so I say, I, I, say, I visualize, I'm not going to read long, long text, I'm not going to write code, I'm not going to go, go into math, I don't like engineers, that is a horrible attitude which is prevailing, uh, and the same goes for management consultants, you know, they're in the room, Therefore, they run the business, the meetings. They're up at the whiteboards and uh, they put up the little posters and, and they run those things. I think it's, that's really, really dangerous. And therefore, I think that designers can play a, a sort of a, a quite a role. I'll explain this in a second. Design is a, um, I think design innovation are, are, are symbiotic. What used to be called design now has become uh, innovation, but essentially, what we do as designers is that we think different, as Apple uh, said so at one time in, 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 in wrong English, because it should be an adverb, of course. We think differently. Um, we tend to you know, look across and not come up with the straight answers. We are meant to be innovative uh, to distinguish our clients from, from, from other clients. Um, this is me, by the way, on that picture. I have to explain that. I, um, I, my, my previous company uh, uh, at Meta Design, where I worked for 20 years, and we had up to 300 people, and I, I published a lot of little books that were different sizes, and they were about the reprints of Mark Twain's essays, or, or my own sayings, or all sorts of stuff, and there were about 20 of them after, after all these years. And, and somebody said, you know, this is stupid, there's no common denominator, what the heck, you know, why do you do all these different books? And I said, no, but they're all read. So that was the common denominator, and I think that was the, that was the right answer. So at, at one time, at an anniversary, my my ex-employees gave me this poster, uh, <laughs> the red book with Mao. So uh, I think as designers we have uh, uh, quite a, a role to play in this because um, what, when, when you're talking about innovation, you're talking about redesigning the future, essentially. Uh, redesigning dialogues, redesigning products, redesigning companies. Uh, rede well, you can't redesign history, that's one thing, but you can certainly redesign the future. Um, for me, that always means you have to go, always go a little deeper a lot of clients don't like you to do that so very much. You're always asking questions, which drives them crazy. Uh, think laterally, we've heard this before, it just simply means you go round and come at it from another way. You always also have to interfere. In other words, I, I poke my nose into things I'm not supposed to, um, which n not, of, not always is appreciated by my clients. And um, you always have to do a little more. We heard this about overtime, and, and you, you, go, you don't go home when it's five o'clock. You go home when your brain is full. Uh, when you can't do anymore, or when dinner is ready, whatever, you, and then you come back and do it in the morning. You can't innovate between nine, of, nine to five. There's no way I've, I've ever heard that from anybody. And I think what's most important, even though you can't have that as a rule, you have to have fun doing it. Yeah. If the fun's out of it, like a marriage or whatever, you know, do, do another job, go somewhere else. Uh, without fun, there's not going to be any innovation. And to show a picture from a uh, bank or f former hometown, this is for me a typical example of how most people work. This is a little street in, in uh, Gamlebyen in, in Stockholm. This could be anywhere else. And as you can see on the sign there, you're not allowed to enter there between 11 and 6. And you can't enter it between 11 and 6. And you most certainly cannot enter it between 11 and 6. <laughs> we call that redundant, way redundant. <laughs> what it apparently means that you can't enter this weekdays at 11 and 6. You can't enter weekends at 11 and 6. And you can't enter Sundays at 11 and 6. So in other words, this is uh, totally uh, not innovative. This is totally stupid. And uh, for us, it always means that you have to rewrite the brief. Uh, clients come to you, they expect those answers. We have rules. And a brochure looks like a brochure, a movie is like a movie, mm -hmm. and an audio file is like an audio file. Mm -hmm. And who says? We heard that audio files weren't even an issue. Movies were an issue mm -hmm. that suddenly brought about audio files. So to think laterally and, uh, and not believe everything, in, in my case, that the client tells me, 
the client often wants something, but that's not what they need. So I have to try and find out what the client may need. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm cleverer than my clients, but the first thing I always have to say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You say you want a 48-page brochure. Well, maybe you need to you know, change your diet or, or um, sell your company or whatever, or make a movie. I don't know. And that's, that, to me, as a designer, is always the most important things. Uh, answer back, uh, think about it a little bit, and, and take your client on a journey. And uh, whether that journey is called innovation or creativity, I don't really care. But I certainly think that, that my profession, people who by definition think around corners, have a, a, a role to play in, in uh, furthering innovation and creativity. Thank you, in spite of the technical problems.